Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number 47. So in this question we're told that angle BQR is equal to 4 lots of angle POR. So let's take a closer look at the diagram. Let's label angle POR first, and I'm going to call that 2x. Then if we label angle BQR, that must be 4 times as much, so 8x. Next we connect up the points P and R. And if we look at this angle in here, angle APR, we can use circle theorems to show this is equal to x. If you think about it, the angle at the centre is always double the angle at the circumference, so if the angle at the centre is 2x, the angle at the circumference must be x. Then if we use the alternate segment theorem, it shows that this angle is also x. Then we're going to look at angle RAP, that's this one here. Now this is just the interior angle of a regular pentagon, so that's 108 degrees. Next we'll look at the angle APR, which is this one in here. Now we know the other two angles in this triangle, so we can subtract those from 180, and you're left with 72 minus x. Then we can look at this angle here, angle RPO. If we focus on the triangle OPR, we know that's an isosceles triangle since two of the sides are radii. So if you subtract 2x from 180, you get 180 minus 2x, and then half that to get the angle, you end up with 90 minus x. Next we can look at angle OPB, which is this one in here. Line AB is a straight line, so we know these three angles here need to add to 180. So if you add the two we already have and subtract from 180, you'll find angle OPB is equal to 18 plus 2x. Then what we can do is look at the quadrilateral RPBQ, which is this one here. Now that's a cyclic quadrilateral since all of the vertices are on the circumference of the circle. So we can use the circle theorem that says the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral must add to 180. So opposite the angle BQR, which is 8x, is angle RPB, which is the sum of the angles 18 plus 2x and 90 minus x. So if we add all of those angles together, that must give you 180. So we end up with 18 plus 2x plus 90 minus x plus 8x equals 180. If we collect like terms, this becomes 9x plus 108 equals 180, Subtract 108 from both sides and you get 9x equals 72, and then divide both sides by 9, we find that x equals 8 degrees. So we can replace all of the x's with 8 degrees, and your angles would now look like this. Now in the question we're told that if you do AB divide by OR, you end up with k root 2, where k is some constant that we need to find. So what we're going to do is label the radius of this circle, let's call it R, and we're going to find the length PR first. Looking at the triangle OPR, we can use the cosine rule. PR squared would equal R squared plus R squared take away 2 times R times R times cos 16. Then if you simplify the right hand side, you get PR squared equals 2 R squared minus 2 R squared cos 16. Then you can factorise out the 2 R squared, so you get PR squared equals 2 R squared lots of 1 minus cos 16. Then if you square root both sides, you'll find that PR is equal to the square root of 2 lots of R times the square root of 1 minus cos 16. Now we're going to need this in a moment, so we'll pop it to the side. And then we're going to focus on the small triangle PAR. We're going to use the sine rule on this triangle to try and find the length of AP. So we'd say AP divide by sine 8 equals the length PR, which we now know to be this, divide by sine of 108. So if you rearrange this by multiplying by sine 8, you get AP equals all of this, divide by sine 108. Next we're going to connect the line from O to B, which is another radius, so we end up with an isosceles triangle PBO. This means that the angle OBP is also 34 degrees, and if you subtract the two 34s from 180, you find that angle BOP is 112 degrees. We can then use the cosine rule once again to find the length of P to B. So PB squared will equal R squared plus R squared take away 2 times R times R times cos 112, if you simplify the right hand side you'll get this. Once again we'll factorise out the 2r squared, and then square root both sides gives you pb equals square root 2 lots of r times the square root of 1 minus cos 112. Now we managed to work out what ap was, and we also found pb. And in the question we're asked for ab, so ab must just be the sum of these two, so ab equals this. We can factorise out the square root 2 and also the r from both of these terms, so you get ab equals square root 2 r, and then all of this. And then in the question we need to divide by or, and or is just a radius, so if we divide by or, we can cancel out the r. Now this is in the form square root 2 multiplied by a constant, so all of this in the bracket is our constant k. 
So the answer to the question is that k equals this. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.